Hello everyone, um, my name is Jordan Berrios. I'm a junior at University of Central Florida. Um, today for my Comp 1000 class, I will be discussing four chapters and talking about four takeaways that really put emphasis um, on my part about each chapter. So the four chapters are chapter one, nature of communication, chapter 10, group leadership and problem solving, um, chapter 12, organizing your speech, and chapter 15, delivery. So uh, let's go into chapter one. So one of the things that really stood out to me is how communication is the process in which how we express, interpret, and coordinate messages. I feel like um, now these days, a lack of communication can sometimes leave a lot of interpretations and a lot, a lot of mistranslation. Um, the second thing that really spoke out to me is how we're able to decode and encode messages for feedback. Um, that was really, really interesting, and um, I really, really was super engaged in that. Um, moving forward, chapter 10, group leadership and problem solving. One of the things that stood out to me was how leadership can really put an individual in a position to achieve success not, and, and not only push them to achieve their common goal. And I really, really related to that on a personal level because I myself was a leader at once in my marching band high school and I had to lead and teach and mentor kids on how to march and memorize music through marching positions and also build confidence within themselves to perform at a big stage. Um, and the second thing that I really found really interesting was how leadership can also motivate oneself and also it can maintain, help maintain a harmonious or harm, harmonious relationship between members. And that's really important, especially um, in anything to, I think relationships and building that personal relationships really puts that friendship in um, into someone and also develops character as a leader. In chapter 12, organizing your speech, this is the fun one. So I think if you're going to give off a speech in general, you one want to have to engage your audience. It's very important to engage your audience and basically interact with them. With that interaction with them will cause an engagement. And also it'll be easy for you to transition between topics as well. And the second thing that I found that was really, really interesting is how to practice for a speech rehearse it out loud. If you develop that practice, it'll definitely create that discipline. And you're able to, to once you have that discipline, and once you have that practice, I feel like when you go into that next day, or that whenever that day for that your speech, you're going to give that speech, you'll be mentally prepared and physically prepared. And the last chapter, chapter 15 delivery. One of the things that really stood out to me is when you're presenting a speech is to have that engagement with your audience, which is really important because then it's gonna, having that engagement is gonna push um, the speech to a whole new level and it's gonna be more effective. So having an effective speech and having the ability to push your audience and, and having that gravitation being like, wow, this was a really good speech. Um, it, it speaks beyond measures and having something that's effective um, and something that really generates curiosity, but also generates a, um, a new way for someone to be really intrigued about something that goes beyond measures, like I, like I said before. And the second thing and the last thing that stood out to me in this chapter is your ability to sound natural when giving a speech. I feel like a lot of people now these days, especially public speaking, and when they're having um, presentations or group presentations, a lot of people clam up and a lot of people sound like a robot. I don't, I think the authenticity of a conversation between another person and another person is to have, to sound natural, to, to sound like you're not, it's not fake. Authenticity is everything. And I feel like one, the conversation will move faster Two, you guys will relate on different things. And it definitely, three, will build that personal relationship just as in chapter 10, going back into chapter 10 and really um, putting, establishing that communication like in chapter one and chapter 12, organizing that way of communication can really help you guys develop um, a sense of friendship and leadership and anything to build character in a person. Um, and I, I really do put emphasis on building character because I think that's really important in life to have. 
Um, but yeah, guys, so these were my four chapters that I did, and these are my four biggest takeaways, what I think about the chapter. Um, I guess leave a reply down below, and uh, thank you again for listening in. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, stay safe.